Monday, Penguins. Let's head to the SNAN studios to hear from the soft, calming voices of Ronnie and Emmett as they provide you with the information you need to get you through the day. Thanks, Charlie. So glad I can help. Today is Monday, April 11th, and it's National Pet Day. National Pet Day is a day dedicated to those pets who may not always get the companionship and attention pets deserve. While loving our pets is something we do every day, the observance encourages helping out orphaned pet companions. It will improve their health and enhance their opportunities for adoption. The local shelters need our help. If you'd like to volunteer at an animal shelter, you can search online to locate one near you. Then give, a call, get, then give them a call and find out if they have a volunteer program or specific needs that you could fill. You can also ask your veterinarian for shelters they'd recommend. Now let's all stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing as we say our proud Penguin Pledge. Respect, responsibility, and citizenship too. They bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair helps to show others that we really care. We all know it's right. We all know it's good. We all do things that we know we should. Remain standing as we reflect on how we can help the animals in our local shelters. You may be seated. Now let's head to the SNAN Weather Studio to see what the weather will be like today. Thanks, Emmett. Today looks like a beautiful day. Highs in the upper 70s and bright sunshine in the sky. There's a night gentle, gentle wind out of the east-northeast that is bringing us the nice cool air. Our rain chance is very slight. On a day like today, you really need to protect yourself with sunscreen. Do you know how sunscreen works? Sunscreen works by blocking and absorbing UV rays through a combination of physical and chemical particles. Physical particles, such as zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, are used to reflect UV, radiations from the UV radiation from the skin. Now back to you guys! Sunscreen is very important and a great way to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun. Thanks for that info, Greer. Now let's head to the Good News News Studios for today's shot of happiness. Thanks, Emmett. Today's headline, in tribute to his first love, man constructs, constructs wetland home for beavers and frogs. We're often told to follow our dreams. Well, one farmer in Nova Scotia has done just that after building a wetland paradise for animals in the spirit of his lost love. In his own backyard, no less, Eight water features, which Robert Perkins dug into the ground, are now a sanctuary for frogs, snapping turtles, beavers, in the middle of the suburban, suburban development. He said he doesn't need to wonder what people might think of the place. He feels a lot of pride whenever he walks among the trees. The reeds, the ponds, looking at birds, beavers, or reptiles, listening to the songbirds and the frogs. Now back to you guys in the studio. What an amazing farmer. We should all do this. I agree. So it's Monday and that means we have the word of the week. What what word do you have for us today, Ronnie? Today's word is gracious. 
How many of you out there in Penguin Land know what gracious means? Gracious means courteous, kind, and pleasant. Do you know anyone that you would call gracious? Well, a person that is gracious would be a person that is slow to take credit and quick to give praise. A gracious person never seeks to embarrass another. A gracious person pays attention to people. A gracious person always says what is appropriate. And a gracious person looks out for, for the comfort of others. Wow. Being gracious seems like a really hard work, doesn't it? It sure does, but it's worth it. Well, that's it for our show today. Let's all go out and do our best today. Work hard and remember to be kind. See you tomorrow.